Welcome to IBM Automation Workstream Services, your no-code solution to automate everyday tasks. In this demo, we'll see how easy it is to put together a simple workstream for a checklist. Let's say you're a sales specialist, planning for an upcoming business trip. You have your information in a number of different places. You're afraid some things might slip your mind. How about a checklist to keep you organized? And it'll serve you well the next time you travel. Let's get started. Log in using the URL and credentials that your administrator gave you. This will take you to IBM Workplace. From the welcome page, you can quickly start working based on your user role. To create work streams, you must be a configurator. First, you create a work stream definition, which will later get published so others can use it. Start by naming the work stream definition. Then, select a team that can use it. After you create a work stream definition and it's tested and approved, it gets published as a work stream that others can use. By default, the first activity is ready to be configured. We'll set the activity type to form so we can provide details for the trip. In this case, we'll add the traveler's name, destination, and dates. Make the data items editable to enable users to fill in the details at runtime. Now, let's choose the team who will use this activity and give the option to assign it to a specific user when the work stream is started. Also, let's add some instructions for the users of this activity. This allows you to add some additional context to the activity. Next, we add a second activity and make it a checklist so we can capture all those to-do items for the trip. All right, let's add those items. We'll keep these items marked as required to make sure nothing's missed when we're following the checklist. Let's give ourselves the flexibility to update the checklist before we launch it. We'll also expose the trip details in the checklist. We'll assign it to a team now, but give the option to have it assigned to a specific user at start. And again, we'll leave some instructions for the users. Now, let's save. This puts the workstream definition into trial mode. The definition shows up in trial status in the workstream's definitions list. For this video, let's assume it's already been tested. Now, we can submit it for review. Let's choose Request Publish to get the definition reviewed and approved. You must be a publisher to review and publish the workstream. All right, let's head over to the My Work page. What do you know? We've received a review task. Let's claim the task first. Next, we'll inspect the workstream in read-only mode. If all looks good, we publish it. If we check our Workstreams page, we can see the published status. The published Workstream becomes available for others to use. In Workplace, it's now listed under Start. Because we enabled it earlier, we have the option to make changes at launch time. For example, assign the form task to a specific user. And also make some changes to the checklist and of course assign it to a specific user as well. Let's start a new instance of our work stream. In the instance, there's information we need to update in both tasks. We need to claim each task in order to work with it. In the form task, let's put in some details, set the dates for our trip, and leave some comments. Now, complete the task so we can go to the next one. In the checklist task, we'll mark our items complete, quickly review the trip details, leave some comments, then complete the task. Under My Work, our task list is now empty. 
Under Manage Started Workstreams, our Workstream instance shows up in a completed status. Lastly, we can archive a Workstream that is no longer needed. You must be a configurator to archive a Workstream. Only Workstreams that don't have any active instances can be archived. When necessary, a configurator can also restore an archived workstream back to its published state. There you go, a form and checklist workstream that you created, published, and shared so others can use too. Bye for now.